Hello, um, we're going to talk about HSL and how it's used in Affinity. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is look at this car, it's a red car, uh, green background, grey, dark grey, edges and yellows um, in the curb there. And what we want to do is change the colour of the car. So, what we can do is go to the adjustments, click HSL. Now HSL is hue, saturation and luminosity. And what we can do on the whole photo is we can use this slide of R to change the colour. And you can see the uh, colour of the car is changing, but so is the background. It's been affecting the entire um, picture. Just go back to normal. Saturation. Now, you, hopefully you use this, but um, you can increase the saturation in a picture. Uh, you can also take it too far, but it's also great for taking all the saturation out of a photo. But again, it's affecting everything. So let's just double click on that to uh, set it back to the middle. And finally, you've got luminosity, which basically, if you bring it down, get darker until it goes black. Alternatively, it will go lighter up until the point is completely white. Bring that back down. Now that's great, but in this particular instance, I'm only interested in the car. Now the car's red, and uh, what we can do is, on that color swatch there, is affecting everything, but we can be specific. So we've got all the main colors here. Just pick on red. And you'll see that the um, wheel has the red range picked. Now let's see what happens if I reduce the saturation. You can see the car going to grey, but all the greens are staying the same. Now if I bring it back up and overdo it, this is quite interesting because it shows you where small bits of red are also involved. Let's just bring it down. So what we want to do is actually get the range a little bit tighter on the car. And the way I can do that is use the picker. Click on the picker, and when I click on the car, you'll see the wheel move. There you go. So it just moved up slightly to better fit the range of the car. I can actually hold the shift key down and take several clicks, and it will take the, uh, that whole range and affect the wheel here, but in this particular instance it's the same colour red, so it doesn't make much difference. So, these two inner dots is the actual colour range that's going to be affected, and the outer two dots is the feathering out to the other parts of the colour range. So, what I can do to make it more specific on the car is take the saturation completely out, move in a little bit. If I take that first wheel, uh, first dot and just move it in until I can start seeing the colour co coming through. So I just back it off and then I take the other inner side and bring this towards the other dot. And there they go, there's the colour. So just back it off again. So we're actually only talking about that small range there. So I can bring the feathering in both sides to reduce the amount of bleed out. And now the car is grey and only that small portion will be affected. So if I bring that back up to full colour and now if I move the hue slider I can basically adjust the colour of the car and you'll see the rest of the photo hardly changing at all, hopefully not at all. And I can drop it down to all sorts of colours. Now, obviously you can, you can mix the three sliders together, so let's go to green. I can reduce the luminosity of the green, but probably more in this case, to match the rest of the photo, I want to bring down the, the brightness, bring down the luminosity, so it's now more in fitting with the rest of the picture. So that's great. Um, if I just um, 
take that out. That's now set. Now if I click that on and off, you can see around this region here that it did actually change the colour a little bit. There were colours in this area here that match the car. That's probably the reflection of the car on this area here. But this is a mask. So with all masks, I can pick up my paintbrush. I can pick up black. I can uh, come into this area and paint those changes out of the mask. And just take those out. Oh, gone a little bit too far over the edge. Just bring that back in. There we go. Okay, so we saw some stuff get up the garden path there. Now, basically, we've taken away the effect where it's been bleeding out slightly. And to be honest, a lot of people wouldn't have even noticed. Just back here. Just take that in. Good. And the other thing we might want to do is um, the actual badge here is we don't want the green paint, green change affecting the badges. So I'll just bring that back. Just settle that back over there. And there we are. We have a green car.